So not long after Christmas, I made a video at home kind of showing off all the items that I had received as either Christmas gifts or as birthday gifts from my family. And I had said that I would bring those items back to you as I used them to give you my thoughts on them. Well, today what I wanted to share with you is my experiences so far with the Sea to Summit cook sets. If you're interested, keep watching. All right, just before we begin, I thought what I would mention is if you're interested in seeing that video where I showed off my, all the gifts that I had received, I'll put a link to it at the end of this video. I've already reviewed at least one other item that was on that list, which I'm sure you'll find when you go through the video. Okay, so let's start talking about the Sea to Summit cook set that I have. And uh, they are all gifts, but they didn't all arrive this year. In fact, the first ones I'm going to show you, and I think it's important so I can show you my whole setup. The first one I'm going to show you was actually given to me by my daughter almost 10 years ago. I use it a lot. I don't use it all the time. It's kind of an ultralight set and it has its pros and cons, but today I brought it all out so that I could share it with you. So let me start with that set first. So here's the set that, that my daughter gave me, and this is the X series of silicone-based uh, fold-up sided, and this is the plate, the bowl, and the mug. So uh, let me open it up and share it with you. There's one thing I have added to this kit to kind of get a little bit more out of it. So let's start with the plate, and I will give you some specifications, but of course I have munchie sheet notes, which means that I will put them in the video description for you as well. So this is the X plate, and what's cool about the X plate is that the sides roll up, just tall enough so that they're not a nuisance, not in the way, but your dinner's not going to slide out and on to the ground. And one of the things I like about this is I've used this as a cutting board just by turning it upside down. Very effective. I don't have to take another cutting board out with me. So the construction is an ABS BPF free you know, BPA, BPA free <laughs> plastic on the bottom and very tough, very durable with food grade silicone sides that roll up. I believe the diameter is a little over eight inches. I'll have to in make sure that I put that in the show notes. But the weight of this one item, and I'll give you the weight of them all is, as a set as well, is 168 grams. This is probably the item I have used least over the last 10 years because I wasn't used, making a whole lot of meals that require plates. I'm using it more often now because I'm getting into more advanced cooking or fancier cooking. So that was the plate. Now here's something I've used a lot over the years and this is the bowl. So this is the X bowl, same basic construction, hard plastic bottom, soft collapsible silicone sides and I really like this bowl. It is a good size for the amount of meals. Now I'm also going to be cooking something in this today to go along with my lunch so that will appear in a separate video but I'll make sure there are shots of it in this video. So this comes in at 80 grams. So, you know, pretty lightweight, very, very compact. Let me put that back together flat again. Look how flat that folds down. And you notice how that does nest inside of the uh, plate as well. Well, there was one more item that came in that set, and that is a mug. So this is the X series mug, collapsible silicone mug. Same basic materials. The design is a little bit different in that the hard plastic is a ring at the top as opposed to on the bottom. The benefit there, of course, is when you grab it, it doesn't collapse under your, your fingers squeezing it together. Um, I've used this a lot. I've actually done quite a bit of baking right in this as wet baking inside of another pot. In fact, Spoiler alert, I'm going to use this and wet bake with this today, as you'll see. Um, there's one thing I'll say about the mug that it makes it less than perfect, and that is it's wider at the top than it is at the bottom. And it wouldn't be the first time that I've lost my coffee out of it by just giving it a little bit of a tip and having a tip over. So not a deal breaker, just one of those things. Unlike other mugs, you have to pay a little bit more attention to where you set this down to make sure that it's level ground or at least supported by leaning up against something else so that you can uh, uh, won't tip it over. It also has graduated markings. These will not show up on the camera, but there are 
uh, metric graduated markings for volume. Actually, there are both an imperial and metric. Sorry about that. So it goes right up to two cups. So if you need to do measuring for your meals, especially if you're into freeze dried or dehydrated meals and you need a precise amount of water, you can use this as your measuring cup. So also nice. And as I mentioned, the three of those things do nest together just perfectly. Now, there was one thing about them that I was uh, it wasn't an issue, it was just something to be aware of and something that was easily resolved. And that is, during the winter, I found that my, even though the silicone is quite insulative, I would still, my meal could cool off quite quickly. So I wanted a way of putting something over top of the bowl and over top of the mug to keep from losing the heat. And easy enough, I found these on AliExpress. They're just silicone lids, that's all they are. So there are two silicone lids. I'm not sure I'll even be able to find the link. I've had these so long, but they're easy enough to find on uh, Amazon or AliExpress for very inexpensive. And these two lids, one for the mug and one for the bowl, will nest together. There are little knobs on top nesting together. The whole works will sit together like this, all inside of that pouch, just nicely. Okay, so I've had this for some time. Most of the items, actually, I think all of these items have appeared in other videos. So the reason I wanted to show you these up front is to kind of give you an idea of where my thinking was. I was so impressed and so much like these as a compact, lightweight. I mean, they're not ultra light. I mean, I'm not eating out of a titanium pot with titanium knife, fork, and spoon. I have those, but that's not what this is about. This is about having all the dishes in a compact nature, very easy to use, very durable, very easy to clean. So it was with that in mind that the next couple of items came with, came from, or were added to the collection. And the next item, and this also has shown up in a previous video, and this is the X series pot. Now the pots come in three sizes. There are a couple of items inside that I'll share with you in a moment. Um, this pot comes in three sizes, and this is the smaller 1.4 liter pot, and I think there's a 2.8 and 3.8 maybe. I can't remember the larger size one, but it is really quite nice. Again, similar construction, food grade silicone sides on it that collapse right down anodized aluminum base, which will handle heat very well and is very durable, anodized inside and out. This also has both metric and imperial measurements down the side to help you, uh, you know, judge how much fluid or how much you have in the bowl. And it even has a max safe fill of one liter. Okay, uh, well, I've never filled it up that much, but it will go up to over five and a half cups 1.2, yeah, 1.4 total, but that'd be right up to the brim. So they call it a 1.4 liter pot, but realistically, you shouldn't be using this at much over one liter. Extremely high quality. I really liked this pot. And one of the things I like about it is, again, it is designed to nest with some of the other items in the X series from Sea to Summit. So let me put that pot aside. That I'm going to be using also today, not for cooking my lunch, but I think it's my dessert is what I'll call it. Let me put that down. So at Christmas time, there was one of the things that I shared that I had been given was the kettle, the X series kettle. And that X series kettle uh, fits and nests inside of that 1.4 liter pot perfectly. It's not loose, it's not taking up too much space. In fact, there is room to nest one other item inside of this. So this is how the pot works. Again, anodized aluminum base, food grade silicone on the side, has two handles that fo uh, fold up, a little tiny pour spout, also, again, with measurements, both in metric and in imperial on the sides. Very helpful. And the lid. And the lid goes on top. And there you go. There is the kettle. And what 1.3 liters is the max fill. But they're, they're saying three and a half cups is where you should max fill this out to. So, you know, I again, I can't see having, well, I can go to one liter, I think, quite safely, but I can't see having much more water in this than one liter at the most. 
Again, really quite nice. In fact, I just used it a few minutes ago to make myself a cup of tea. So this is one of the items that I received at Christmas or my birthday. I'm not sure which one this one came as from my family. So what does it that met nests inside of this? Well, this is the only item in my collection that wasn't given to me as a gift. This one was sent to be by Sea to Summit. And this is their X-Series Seal and Go mug. So what makes this different from the other mug I showed you a minute ago? Let me expand it. This is what I just had my cup of tea in, so it's a little damp. Uh, it came with a lid. It comes with a lid with a seal on, or a ring, like a, an O-ring on it, and the whole thing screws into the top of the mug. That So you, again, I suppose, if you laid it down and you gave it a little bit of a tip, so I can line this up right. There we go. That's better. Um, now, if it tips over, I'm not going to lose my coffee or chocolate or tea or anything else out of. So this was sent to me by Sea to Summit, and I'll explain why in a minute. That also appeared in another video, and um, I'll share with you that video as well in case you're interested. Okay, there is one more item that uh, I received at Christmas, and then one other item in addition that I want to share with you. Oh, actually, there's two more items. What am I talking about? Here is another gift that I received at Christmas, and this is quickly becoming one of my favorites. This is their anodized, hard anodized aluminum fry pan, eight, nine inch diameter. Um, this is amazing. I don't think I... I kind of knocked off giving you some of the weights on these things, didn't I? Uh, I'll go back and give you all of those in the video description below. But, right, 8-inch pan. This is called the X-Pan. Comes in at 239 grams. It has fold-out handles so that it will nest away, and they have silicone lifters on it. And you can use this over a gas stove, an alcohol stove, and I would use this quite willingly over a wood stove. Now, you might wonder about these uh, silicone handles on the sides. Do I worry about them? getting bur uh, burning if I used them on a wood stove and the possibility is there so the nice thing about these is they're removable so you can pull them right off. Um, being a hard anodized aluminum you can seal or season this fry pan against things sticking and I haven't done completely but you can see I've started the seasoning it's been in a couple of areas there I've got more work to do a proper seasoning on this and I have a couple of pans I need to season but I'm waiting until the weather is warm enough I can do them in my barbecue and not in the house so Mrs. Young doesn't make me camp out in the yard because if you ever tried seasoning in your oven at home you'll know how much of a smell it can generate so this will be fully seasoned before long but in the meantime I've got a seasoning started on it and it's already working this I'll be using to cook my lunch with as well. Now here's one other thing I'll say about this before moving on is that if I am using this over a wood stove or I am a little concerned that I'm getting too close to the flames or the heat with these two side panels I do have a pot grabber that I can grab onto the side of the fry pan and use that way as well. Beautiful nice little pan absolutely love using this i've used this for bacon and eggs and a few other things today it'll be some uh, sausage uh, blood pudding that we have here in nova scotia that i'll be frying up in this for my lunch so yeah love this little pan now there's one more item that i received as a christmas gift and i've used this a fair amount and uh, again, another great item. Which one is this? This is the Sigma 1.9 liter pot. There is uh, two distinct uh, styles of pots that they have that are made of metal at Sea to Summit. They have the stainless steel and hard anodized aluminum. I elected to go with stainless steel only because I already have a hard anodized aluminum pot from another maker and I thought I would like to have this so um, I'm not sure if it was my daughter or my son, I think it was probably one of my daughters that purchased this for me and I love it. I absolutely love it. This has so many unique features that Sea to Summit have thought through and I'll go over them in a short well, in a quick way, but I did show more of this in uh, in that other video I was mentioning about. So what makes this thing so unique? 1.9 liters. That's almost a two liter pot. This comes in at 321 grams. So it's well under a pound for a pot made of stainless steel. That's pretty impressive. First thing you'll notice is that they have it coated with a non-reflective 
heat absorbing uh, paint of some type on the bottom. Not only does it seem to absorb heat better, it also seems to keep the pot from sliding around on top of burners like gas stoves. The other thing they did down here, and this is more apparent inside, is that they have radiused the bottom so it's rounded right down there in the corner to make it easy to clean out. So sometimes you'll have a almost a 90 degree angle on the bottom. And if you've ever gotten food down in the corners, you know how hard they can be to clean out. Well, that you can reach right in with a spoon to it. Now, this has a folding handle, but as you can see, it swings out over the top of the pot like this. So there is a aluminum attachment point here but when the handle swings out it locks into place and there's a lever made of a heat resistant plastic that locks it in place with a silicone handhold. Again with metric and imperial measurements inside of the pot for measuring your volumes and liquids that you may need to add. Um, this is great. This really is. Now I had bought this in hopes that I could use it over a wood stove. I haven't tried it yet I think I might use this over a smaller wood stove. My only hesitation in using this over a wood stove would be having heat uh, come in contact with the locking mechanism or the handle. I guess I'm, I'm very careful and make sure that, that the flame doesn't contact. There's no reason a good stainless steel pot couldn't be used over a uh, wood stove like this. Um, the lid, a couple points on the lid. One is no stand-up D-ring all right, you're going to hear search and rescue coming over in a minute. <laughs> Seems to happen every time I come out. No D-ring, but a silicone little triangular thing that I can pick up very easily without having to worry about burning my fingers. It's never laying down where I have to see if I can flip the D-ring up to get a hold of it. So that is useful. A single pour hole right here, which is helpful, and strain holes here from doing pasta or whatever. Inside, the other side of that, there's a little kind of a lever. Hopefully you can see that right there. That's intended so that when you take your lid off of the pot, you don't have to lay it on the ground. You can just hook it on the side. Now, I did show all of those things in that other video, so I didn't want to spend too much time on this. This video, or this pot, is going to appear in another video that I'm making today, uh, demonstrating the camping stove, or the cook stove, the gas stove that I'll be using, because I wanted to show this in action, because I did some tests with this on that camping stove, and unbelievable performance. But that's for that other video so I'll make sure that that video goes up and you'll be able to see that performance uh, or that uh, review as well. Basically that's everything that I wanted to show you from the C to Summit uh, X series sets that I have and as I said I'm going to cook my lunch over it in, in a moment but uh, yeah well, we'll do that and then of course we'll wrap up. So here's the uh, C to Summit X pan being used to fry up my blood pudding. Blood pudding is very similar in nature to what I understand the my UK friends refer to as black pudding. This is made in Nova Scotia uh, in the Lunenburg, or sorry, yeah, Lunenburg, Bridgewater area. I think I can turn that down even a little further. I can turn that camping moon stove down so low that I can't even be sure I'm hearing it. There we go. I won't turn that up yet until I get the whole pot on top of it. It's a good chance that I've got leaves and pine needles and everything stuck on the bottom here. And they will smoke if I do. Okay, everything is floating. I can turn that up. But as soon as the water comes to a boil, I am going to be turning it down to the lowest, lowest simmer that I can. I can tell you with my experience, it won't take long for this to come to a boil. All right, a few closing thoughts on my Sea to Summit cook set. So this has been as much a show and tell of all the gifts I've received, as well as a review of those gifts, some of which I've had for a number of years, some of which about a year, and the rest of them just at this Christmas past. Uh, you can probably see a theme there. 
I really like my C to Summit cook set. I like the X-Series silicone collapsible bowls, mugs, pots, kettles. I really like them for all the reasons that I stated early, earlier. The only exception being the coffee dripper. And even that, I still like to use, but I use it with a paper filter, as I mentioned. So, you know, Cedar Summit has a wide range of products. They have not only the, this X-series collapsible silicone cook sets, but they have solid series. They have the stainless steel and aluminum pots, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so they have a lot that you can look at and appreciate. In fact, I have other Cedar Summit products that um, aren't cook set. So for instance, I have one of their sleep pads. It is a really quite a high end, nice sleep pad, super compact, super comfortable. And I like it that it's double chamber top and bottom so I can either customize the amount of air that I put in or should for some reason that I wasn't careful enough and I got a hole in one side of it, I still have half the pad that stays inflated even afterwards. So I really like that sleeping pad. I have their water bucket, which folds down. Great thing to have, especially when during when I'm using my wood stoves here in the summer, when I'm allowed to use my wood stoves. You always want water nearby. So this is a huge bucket uh, that'll appear in other videos. I have other Sea to Summit products. So I guess what you can see the theme is I like my Cedar Summit products. They just make great stuff. Very innovative, very well thought out, very well designed. Um, yeah, I'll provide links to the company so that you can take a look at the products they have. Again, these were not sent to me with the exception of just this mug. Everything else was either something I purchased or I was gifted. So uh, yeah, there you go. So if you have any questions about my Sea to Summit cook sets, then by all means, uh, put them in the comments section below. I'll do my best to answer them. All the specifications for them, both I'll put in the uh, uh, comment section or in the video description, specifically the weights, both in Imperial and in metric, if you're interested in that. And as I mentioned, I'll put links to the website so that you can get more information on it. So until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.